www.netvibes.com, and this will take you to the start page of the NetVibes. Once your page has loaded, and don't worry if it looks different because they change the layout every couple hours, go over to the right hand corner to where it says sign in, and you'll click there, and then go to where it says not a member yet, sign up, it is free, you're going to give them your username, a valid email address, A password that's at least six characters long. Just make sure to use one that you will remember. Make sure you read the terms of service and agree with this. And then choose sign up. After you sign up, they will send you a thank you message and then you will need to go to your email that you gave them to activate your account. So go to Gmail and there's my NetVibes account activation. I will open that up and your screen should look similar to this one. You go down to activate your account and confirm your email address by clicking on this link. Click confirm my email address and it should open up your new NetVibes page. Alright, once your new NetVibes page has loaded, you need to add content. Alright, and this is where you're going to add your RSS feed. So go up to the left hand corner and click add content and then it will take you to some common widgets that are often used on NetVibes Net and you need to go down on the left side of your screen to add a feed. Alright, now the add a feed address is where you're going to copy and paste an address from this feed site. And I'm going to take you through an example right now. One of the feeds that you're going to need to add is for the New York Times. So you're going to go to www.nyt.com, it will take you to the New York Times homepage. Once the homepage loads, you need to find the RSS feed logo. It's usually the orange box similar to the one up here on the toolbar. This one I believe is located at the bottom of the page. Okay, here's one, add New York Times headlines to your site, if you go down even farther, there's another one. If we can, yep, there it is. So we can click on this and it'll take us to the feeds page. All right, and the New York Times has a lot of feeds that you can subscribe to. So if you want to just hear about jobs, you can click on that feed, or money in business, you can click on that one. However, we want to just do the actual home page. We'll have front page news. So you're gonna click on the RSS logo. All right, and this is the page that's gonna tell you you can give you the addresses to subscribe to the feed for. So what you can do is actually go up to the address bar and copy this. And make sure it's the one that takes you after you've clicked on the RSS feed logo. Alright, so you're going to want to do that and then copy your address and then go over to your NetVibes and you're going to want to paste that address right there. Okay, and then you want to add feed. And if you've done this correctly, New York Times feed should come up. All right, and if you want to add this, if it's the correct feed, you'll double click on that feed and it'll ask you again if you want the New York Times homepage added and you'll say yes, add to my page. All right, and then you'll see that on your homepage, the New York Times widget is going to be there. And then you can look at this feed whenever you want to and see what the top news in the United States is. All right, after you've added the New York Times, I want you to add the NPR feed. If you go to www.npr.org, and that's National Public Radio. All right. And the news feed tab for NPR happens to be blue instead of orange, All right, which is just a stylistic concern. Usually it is orange. It's the first blue one I've ever seen. So you want to click on the news feeds and see now they're orange. All right, and then there's top stories. And notice you can still, once again, subscribe to the topic that you'd be interested in hearing. Um, if there's special programs, because NPR is a radio station, if you would like to listen to certain programs, you can just subscribe to those also. But once again, we're just going to do the top stories. So we're going to take the first one and double click on that. And that will take us to the same page that we had with the 
New York Times, and that's the address that we want. So we're going to write, we're going to click on the address, we want to copy this, and then we're going to go again back to our NetVibes page, add a feed, paste our address, and click Add Feed. And it, now the NPR Topics logo has popped up. We double click on that, make sure that's what it is. Yep, that's what we need. And it'll add to my page. Okay, now if you notice right below or above our New York Times, we have our NPR. You can close out of creating your public page. You don't want to do that. You don't want people to see your name. All right, and you go down. This is going to be your home page. Now, if you want to get rid of some of the automatic things that come up, it's very simple. If I want to get rid of the CBS channel, I just go and click the X. Now it's going to ask if I want to delete it forever or archive it, because maybe I'm not sure if I want to delete it and I want to come back to it before. However, I know that I don't want to get the CPS, CBS feed, so I'm going to delete forever, and it'll be gone. Now I don't want the wired one either, so I'll hit X, delete forever, and close. Uh, there's also a way you can link your email to NetVibes. I don't want to do that right now. You're more than welcome to, so I will delete that also. And I don't want Flickr photos. I like a clean cut desktop, so I'll delete that forever also. Okay. And I do like the weather, so I'll keep in there. And YouTube videos, I don't need those. We'll delete that forever also. I really don't need the stock portfolio. And if there is something you would like to keep on there, that's fine. I'm going to keep my weather and I will change it to local weather. And Facebook, I don't have Facebook, so I don't want that either. And I will delete that forever. Okay. So now I've got my two feeds, NPR and New York Times. So now when I want to check the news, I just have to come to my NetVibes page, log in and I will automatically be able to see the top news from both NPR and the New York Times. Um, I do would like to title my page before I leave, and so I'll click here, and I'll just type Mrs. Buckhold's Net Vibes. All right, and so that way that'll appear every time I log in, so I know that that's my page. All right, we'll get rid of the add content. All right, and that's my page. So there's lots of ways to edit. Say I want to have I have two columns, so I want them side by side, so I can click a two column or do three because you'll be adding more, but I want my New York Times over here, so I can drag it over there, and my weather can be over here in the corner. Alright, so there are a lot of ways for you to edit and play with this and make it your own. If I want to change the icon for my general tab, I can do so. I don't want the home one. Maybe I would like to have, oh, a penguin. All right, now I'll see my penguin on my tab. And you can add new tabs when you start organizing your different feeds. So right now, that's all that you need to do.